Hi my lovelies, how are you? Happy, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all okay. Um, we are just about okay um ish <laughs> um we're both safe and sound which is uh, the main thing um uh, you may have seen on our gigglers that we have had a uh, bit of a traumatic weekend we were at the melbourne show which was amazing it was really busy we saw lots and lots of people had amazing setup was easy it was good it was a brilliant friday brilliant saturday and then saturday night we um unfortunately got caught in the floodwaters and um our van got stuck and the cabin filled with water um, and we had to be rescued by the firemen which was um, interesting they had to get a boat to get us out they they were wading through it and it was to hear on them you know it was it was chest you know rib height um, the water was like this far into the cabin on you know on a big van so you can imagine how high it was um, we've lost quite a lot of stuff in the back of the van because the van is still stuck in flood water. They can't get it out, um, which is a, a pain. So had to deal with Enterprise and trying to get all our stuff home and trying to get everything sorted, which wasn't easy. Um, but we need to give a massive, massive shout out to Rob and Sam from j and Sewing who were on the stand next to us and they were amazing they just they got us a spare van they got us you know help get us home my sister came and helped my, my husband drove up from cardiff um between their extra van and the two cars we managed to get all of the stock that was left at the show <laughs> home um the stuff that's in the van there's quilts in there there's there's my new trainers this says new boots this says purse so she's had to cancel all her cards this morning um, and sentimental stuff in her purse as well. Um, so yeah, all of that is still stuck in the water in the van. So so yeah, it was pretty very scary and it's been a very, very stressful few days and it's probably going to be a very stressful few weeks while we try and get all this sorted with Enterprise and everything. So, so yeah, so that was our little bit of of a nightmare <laughs> i hope you all had a much better weekend than we did i have to say sunday I'm, I'm on i spent like four hours on the phone trying to i had to ring different people trying to get hold of anybody on a sunday and stuff and trying to get hold of enterprise was not easy um uh and yeah so sarah bless her sarah and my sister it's like manned the stand for most of the day and we had a cracking show on Sunday <laughs> there were so many people there but which I'm really surprised because the roads into Malvern almost like every other route was shut where the River Severn had burst its banks and was just flooding everywhere so so yeah not a pleasant experience but main thing is is we're both safe and sound um I've lost some very precious quilts which I'm gutted about um yeah, so not great, but never mind, never mind. Um, so what we're going to do today is, I hope, yeah, tell me about your weekends. Hopefully you've had a much, much better weekend than us. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a little block today. So um, you can probably see it behind me here. Okay. I'm calling this one Flying High. Um, it's, a, it's a very, very simple little block to put together. Um, it's just using a half square triangle and some and some sash, you know, sort of sashed box, a bit like a log cabin. Uh, but when you turn them, I think it looks like bunting. I think, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it behind me? If I squish there. I, I did a load of blocks up so that I could kind of get this. And I feel it looks like, like bunting, fluttering in the breeze. So that's um that's what we're going to do today um let's say hello to some people hi karen hi grace hi patricia um let me just scroll up say hello to some people hi kate hi jackie hi jean hi liz hi hi natalie hi Anne. hello my lovely um oh thank you all yes yeah the main thing is is we're bo both safe um we're just gonna have a lot of legal stuff to deal with now because um yeah I'm trying to get I'm trying to somehow let enterprise know that the van, the water has gone down and they can get the van they can recover the van but i live two hours away and i'm not there and there was this amazing fruit farm right right next to the road and i've been ringing them every day and they're like nope water's still going up water's still going up and we're like okay so god knows i mean it was so high when when the firemen got us out on a boat i i can't imagine it i can't imagine how much higher it is up the van now 
it was quite scary when the 999 guy told us to open the get the windows open while we could before the electrics went so we could get on the roof of the van that was a uh, interesting <laughs> interesting yeah so yeah nikki so you said it yeah it wasn't fun avoiding the floods on sunday yeah trying to get out and all it was wasn't great it was okay if you were coming back towards wales but because we were obviously going towards Cheltenham, which was the other direction on saturday night to stay with my mum um, we got caught in it with just this water everywhere. It was horrendous. And um, yeah, water is is moves very fast, very very fast when a when a river breaks its banks. You can understand how people get washed away and stuff. I think we were lucky. We were in a very big van which was very heavy. So what's that, Jackie? You had a birthday dinner Saturday which was fab, and then Sunday you found a big wet patch on the ceiling. Of course, the rains continue. Oh no! Oh bless. Sounds like we were both quite lucky. I think we were. I think we were quite lucky. And um, massive, massive shout out to the fire brigade because they got to us in like 15, 20 minutes and got us out and everything. Um, and then a humongous thanks to, to the guys at JMB for helping us get also our stock home because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get any, any of the stall home. So um, they were just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So Sarah and I are completely knackered because we're on a very stressful day. And then... Um, we spent all day yesterday going backwards and forwards to Newport with the car, with you know, to get the stock from them to get it back to the shop. So, right. Anyway, let's do a bit of sewing. Let's cheer up and do sewing. Yeah, um, Jean, you've had good weather this weekend. It was great because you had a lantern parade on Saturday. Ah, oh, beautiful. I bet that was gorgeous, hun. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So, hopefully, we're over here. So, what we're going to do is basically you're going to make this little block, which is really, really nice and easy to make. Oh, it's a little half square triangle and then we're going to be doing um sort of just like a bit like a half log and your quarter log cabin type look around it but when then you put them together it creates like i think it looks like bunting i think it looks like bunting so natty you've had lots of flooding up with us so weekend at home avoiding the weather oh absolutely uh ali you're so sorry to hear it all has been for you yeah thank you darling yeah Sarah is very upset because um not only was her purse in the one bag that was in the back and the boots but the bottle you bought her for her birthday, she's gutted, she's lost her water bottle as well. So what we're gonna do, so I'm doing this with um, with a charm pack and an accent fabric and then my background fabric. So I um, picked this one, which is the Rainbow Sorbet uh, background, uh, charm pack. It's beautiful, it's really modern and contemporary and just stunning. And if you, I mean, it this is this would a whole charm pack would make a massive massive quilt i think it worked out it would be like 80 something by 80 something with the other bits but um i'm just going to make a, a smaller quilt sort of you know lap single bed size quilt which i'm only going to use 21 of these okay um oh thank you andy that's really sweet if you heard so and also to save cutting i'm using one of the white um charm packs this is the bella solid white charm packs so we're gonna it's it's really nice and easy but you're gonna need you could cut this out of scraps as well if you wanted to so you're gonna need 21 to make a full-size quilt for each block obviously you what I'll, I'll do it per block so per block you're gonna need one five inch square in a color one five inch square in your background in an accent fabric you're gonna need one four and a half by two and a half and one two and a half by six and a half okay and then in your background fabric again you need a two and a half by six and a half and a two and a half by eight and a half and that will make one of these little blocks all right you can then make as many as you want okay um it's not good losing precious things isn't it no i mean she's gutted about losing her purse she didn't even realize she'd lost it was in the in the bag until this morning but it's got some like little sentimental thing, you know, cards and all can be replaced, can't they? But there's the sentimental stuff that she kept in her purse. So she's gutted about that as well. So what I'm doing is putting these right sides together. Okay. And then we're going to do simple half square triangles. So draw a line right the way across like that. And then as we always do with half square triangles, we're gonna stitch a quarter of an inch either side, okay? So we're gonna go over to the machine. Hopefully we're here. Yeah, I'm gut, absolutely gutted about um, things like quilts. They were the quilts that we'd taken with us for display and then thought, oh no, we don't need that one, we don't need that one. Put them in the back of the van storage stuff in the back of the van you know i mean st things like 
the trolley and the cage and all that sort of thing can all be replaced. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, there's stuff there, personal stuff and sentimental stuff that's still in the back of the van somewhere. <coughs> well, I know exactly where it is because it's still underwater. The, the farmer guy I spoke to said, yeah, the water's still, still really high today. So we know nobody can get in the van, but it's all going to be ruined. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There we go. So down we go like that. And we've just stitched a quarter inch either side. So we come back over to here. Okay. And I've just stitched a quarter of an inch either side of that, that drawn line. You know, we, we've done these a hundred times. You know how to do half square triangles now. <laughs> there we go. Cut up the drawn line. Quilts might be okay. To be honest, um, the fire, uh, fire brigade and all said it's it's foul water, so it's um, you know because it's come off the river and out of the sewers, and and it's not it's not just rainwater, it's they class it as foul water. So they might be, you never know, they might be. They were in boxes, maybe the box. I mean the boxes didn't have lids, but <coughs> maybe the boxes will float in the back of the van. Um, you know, so maybe they'll float in the back of the van and we'll just be able to wash them and get them dry. But I'm not hopeful, to be honest. I'm really not hopeful. <laughs> so just going to square these up. Now we've made them to four and a half inches. OK, so I've got my diagonal line across there and go four to four and a half to four and a half. And then go up that side, get rid of that little bit. And across that little bit there and then turn and square it up. OK, so I'm going to do... I've got I've got some others I haven't squared up yet, so I'm going to square a couple up so that I can show you how to put these together. Okay, like that. So you're going to go ahead and make as many half square triangles as you want blocks. You want one for a block. This one would make another block. Okay, Eileen, you've got COVID. Oh, bless you. Oh, that's rough, darling. Hope you're not feeling too bad. Let's use this one as well. So I'm going to put that one like. Uh, where are we? Four and a half, four and a half. Oh, I can't get it. So can you see I'm having to move it to... I was obviously a bit wonky when I sewed this one. I have been a little stressed the last few days, I have to say. It's not... I'm not sleeping well at all. And uh, there's a, just a lot to deal, to deal with. Um, a lot of legal stuff and all now to deal with. And insurances and, and all sorts. So, uh, so yeah. It's a little little stressful and then I've got a chander this weekend as well so uh so <laughs> it's all good <laughs> all good right make as many half square triangles as you like in whatever colors okay um I mean obviously this one's really really like bright and you know sort of almost you'd be beautiful as like a little baby play mat or something because it would be really lovely but I think it would look stunning if you used you know like a, a florals and stuff maybe something like the William Morris or something like that it would, it would look lovely too Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the four and a half inch in your accent fabric. So this is four and a half by two and a half. And what we what you want to do is make sure that the this is all going off the coloured side. It can leave the blank bits um, spare. So we're going to put these on the top like that. So right sides together. Anybody can do this block. Honestly, it's a super, super simple block. And we're going to stitch down quarter of an inch on these. OK, so back over we go. Um, I think you're both brave carrying on, especially to Portland. Yeah, well, yeah, my uh, <coughs> sinuses have not been great as well. So I was, I've, I've been feeling, I was feeling terrible. But I think the adrenaline, the adrenaline of it all, uh, kind of uh, just got us through it. And then I went into control freak mode, as we know, we know I am, <laughs> to try and get everything organised after I had a little bit of a. Uh, a broke down on Saturday night and then I was like right okay what do we do what do we do to get this organized and then went into control mode <laughs> so quarter of an inch down both sides there I've just broke my nail as well that's great isn't it <laughs> it's all going on <laughs> there we go um, so I'll just come back over here a second it was it was very I have to say and it was very scary one of the scariest things uh, and I've been in a couple of car accidents actually not my fault but a couple of car accidents on one a big one on the motorway actually but um luckily it, I've always been fine but yeah this was this was genuinely a little bit terrifying particularly how fast the water rose 
it really was just crazy how fast the water went from oh gosh that's a bit of water on the road to oh my god it's coming into the cabin was 30 seconds if that it was so fast what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put the two and a half by six and a half along the other colored side okay so that one's going to go on like that and then this one's going to go on like this there we go and we're going to stitch down there okay so back to the machine we go and then we're going to stitch down these ones again just quarter inch seam allowance on them all there we go oh i've got big heavy boots on today and <laughs> i can't feel the foot pedal very well <laughs> Isn't this strange? Because I was so barefoot and I, I, I didn't take my boots off. I, uh, I left them on. Oh, I'm trying to work out where the pressure of the, uh, the foot is. Yeah, it's going to be a long old weekend because we've got to go up to, uh, I've got to go up to Chandra on Saturday. So it's going to be fun. But it'll be, it will be lovely when I get up there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to the drive this time. And I really normally don't mind. Right, back over we go. On a really lovely note, I did get a little video call from my little man this morning, which was very, very cute. Apparently he was being an absolute little toad for his mother, for Cara, and wouldn't wouldn't get ready, didn't want to go to nursery. So uh, so she rang me at like quarter past seven this morning. She says, will you talk to your grandson? I was like, why, what's he doing? He won't get ready for nursery. So granny had to put the granny voice on and make him get ready. But it was very funny, he did it. <laughs> She's like, I don't know how you do that. I was like, man, years of practice. Right, we're going to put background ones on again, exactly the same as we did with this accent colour. I love this blue fabric. I don't know if you can see it. It's the Makawa linen textures, but they've got the speckled ones. This is like the duck egg with the with the gold. It's just yummy. So this one's going to go up here. So that's the six and a half in the background by two and a half. Where's my other one gone? I cut two. There we go. And then that one's going on that one. So again, right sides together like that. And then we're going to put the eight and a half ones down the side. So incredibly quick. You can do really make a, a quilt very quickly with this, uh, this block because you can chain piece all of this, you know, make all your half square triangles and then just get your cutting done and sit and chain piece them all. And then iron, chain piece and iron. You, I, I genuinely made those, what was there? There's 12 blocks there. Um, I did them in about 25 minutes yesterday. It was really, really quick. Hi, Eileen. How are you, darling? There we go. So, down that one. Oh, I'm definitely not getting the pressure right with my boots on. <laughs> like that. And then put the other one on. Like that. Okay. And I got all dressed for winter this morning because it was really cold for the first thing this morning. I put a massive jumper on and took a coat and all into work. And I'm, at, I'm absolutely boiled now. The weather's turned. So, okay, I'm not going to bother ironing those out just because of camera time and everything. I'm just going to press, finger press that one out and then I'm going to put the eight and a half down that edge so that it's going down the accent colour. Okay, let me go there to there. Oh, I've just managed to unthread my needle. Hang on, two seconds. Hang on. There we go. Let's really thread my needle. Oh, hang on. Come back. There we go. How did I do that? <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm more fingers and thumbs today. There we go. So. So this is the eight and two and a half by eight and a half going on. Like that. I think we've done this block before you know but not it putting it together this way I'm sure we I did this this sort of block with in a slightly different and then when you put them together in a slightly different pattern um good afternoon just joined you glad you made it home oh thank you lovely yeah it's uh we did it we did get home uh, eventually um all thanks to Jane B I have to say if it hadn't been for them although lots of the traders were like oh we can take stock for you we'll, we'll store it and stuff um doubt is because obviously they're up in hereford they were like do you want us to take it back to ours and you can you know arrange to pick it up at some point but luckily we managed to get everything in 
in what we had with J and B's little van. And um, yeah, but yeah, well, there were some lovely people there actually, really, really, yeah, we had customers, some of you lovely, lovely ladies who were there on Sunday offering to take fabric, you know, <laughs> fabric back to Cardiff and all for us and then dropping it off. So yeah, everybody kind of pulled together and it was, it was really, really lovely, really nice. We, it was nice to know that that, you know, helping out spirit was there because it was, it was a horrible situation. It really well, still is a horrible situation that we're having to deal with. So, yeah, it's a uh, yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna hire a van or a car from Enterprise, whatever you do, don't have an accident or breakdown on a on a Saturday night or a Sunday, because <laughs> it's really not easy to get hold of them. So there we go. So these should now measure eight and a half by eight and a half, which. They do. There we go. Just double checking. That one I think is going to have to be just a teeny tiny bit trimmed because that's stretched a bit when I, yeah, tiny tiny bit. There we go. Just that tiny little bit there. I felt it as I as I ironed it. I felt it move. So you're going to make as many blocks as you want. Okay. So go ahead, and they should all look the same like this. Okay. Do them in a variety. You could make these different colours if you wanted to. I just wanted it to all be the same accent colour, but you know, and keep the the half square triangles with my charm pack but you know play around with it make it your own and then basically we're going to put it together and what you want is to turn these so ooh, we have done a block like this before because it becomes like if you're doing a block like that it becomes like a, a square and a square and a square but that's not what we want to do you're looking for the points of the bunting bit of the triangles and you're going to turn it like that okay so can you see, so I've gone for basically 180. So if they're the same, I'm going to turn 180 like that. Okay. So can you see these, are, these have become the, uh, like the bunting points. And then I'm going to put this one. So that one goes like that. That would be turned 180. One turn 180 like that. And that would go like that. Can you see? So you're going to start like that. So I've got these long bits together. So it's in top left, bottom right, top left, and then you go bottom right, top left, bottom right, like that. Does that make sense, guys? So however many blocks you want to do, I'm actually going to do uh, six by, I'm going to do six in a row by seven down. That's, that's what I'm going to do with mine. So very little nesting, because obviously there's no nesting here, so we can just put that together nicely. And how, what I'll do is once I put this row together, I'll put, get the other one down off the um, off the board, and I'll show you how you need to just the first row. You you do it alternate. So oh, hang on. Over we go. There we go. So stitch that one down. Like that. And then you'd add your next one. So the only tiny little bit of nesting you've got is that little point there. Okay, so when we put them together, you can nest where those two little half square triangles go, like that. So again, it's a super quick and easy one. Very little nesting, which means your points will come out nice. <laughs> Here we go, and sew that one down. Make sure that's nice and flat. Here we go, all the way down got our eighth birthday celebrations um, coming up as well um, so the the live next Tuesday will be in the evening because we'll be doing a counter sale and everything um, but if you've done let me come back over here a second if you um you can iron that then you see and you've got your points coming together there if you've done your birthday challenge make sure that you get your photo your pictures into us by friday okay we'll need it by friday my darling so we can get them on and people can vote over the weekend on our facebook page so give that a little bit of a press like that Ooh, there we go okay so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna grab the other one from behind me what number foot are you using sarah oh it's it's a brand new one lovely hang on come back over here a second it's a brand new one. I actually bought it yesterday at Jane B. It's number 57 on my Benina. Um, so this is the one that came with it, which is the 97D, but it doesn't have a, a guide on it. It's got the screwing guide, but I thought, well, I'm going to try this one because it's got the guide attached. 
and C. So I'm giving this one a go. It's number 57, but you've also got 57D as well, okay? So, right, just a second. I should be back over here, but I'm just going to grab the quilt, the bit that I've made anyway. <laughs> there we go, like that, and show you guys. Um, here we go. So you can see the top row, the first row, I started with a, a top left turned one here, okay? You see it's turned like that, and then bottom right, and then turned, so they turned it 180, and then like that, and I would just do that along the top. The next row down, you're gonna alternate it. So you're gonna put it on bottom, bottom right here first, and then top left so that when you join all your rows together you get these lovely long lines of like bunting flap but that's what it reminds me of bunting flapping in the wind okay fly flying high above the uh in the sky oh dropping stuff can you see it and then when the rows go together you also get this di lovely long strong diagonal appearing as well sorry it's very hard to see on the overhead let me let me do that a second for you move to the oh there we go like that can you see hopefully that's a bit clearer for you like that and you can see you get those lovely strong diagonals and it just reminded me of bunting so but it could, that, i think that's maybe because of the colors that i'm using you know if it was done more in um you know some more traditional colors you know if you were using something like the back to basics or a william morris i think you know and then maybe you know played with sort of richer autumnal colors here i think that would look beautiful too i think it just looks like bunting to me because it's all rainbow <laughs> but it's a very very quick block to do you know how take second you'll you'll spend longer cut it out i think than you put but then if you used a jelly roll here and here you know, if you had a background, like a junior jelly roll, and then just use a jelly roll here as well. If you've got jelly roll strips left over there, you could do it all out of pre-cuts, okay? So when it was on the wall, you could see a secondary pattern. It's so pretty lush. I will pin it back up, okay? But I will write this pattern up. Um, it's, it's a very, very easy one, but I will write it up. I did start the graphics last night, but frankly, my brain was very very adult <laughs> and I got to about half past 10 and I was just like oh no I can't I can't even look at the laptop anymore my brain was like <laughs> mush so um so yeah I'll be back tomorrow at um 7 p.m tomorrow okay we're gonna do an eat as as going forward seven uh, Wednesdays are in the evening so I'll be back at seven um it's, the house is very quiet it's very strange at the moment so Josh and Alex have gone to Canada Phil's gone back to London. Josh and Alex are, uh, are away in, in Canada for two weeks. Um, Josh, Phil's gone back to London. Youngest is in school. He, they won't be back for ooh, about another hour or so. It's just me and the dog. That, that just never happens. This house is never empty. <laughs> well, it's not empty. It's me and the dog. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you, Patricia. Yes, yeah, um, we, will, we will get it all sorted. I'm in control mode now. Control freak mode. I'll get it all sorted. Don't you worry. <laughs> um and we will um i'll see you tomorrow evening my darlings uh i can't remember what we're making oh um christmas bauble pot holder um but they can be used as coasters or on the christmas table for putting pans and all on so we're gonna have a little play with that tomorrow night so i'll see you at seven um and um yeah take care bye